in the tunnel here at Xfinity Center. Intern Mason, superstar, guard, Mello, Tremble. Mason, you've been following Mello's career. Uh, something furious. <laughs> you go ahead and take this one. Well, he seems to be on every promo on Twitter. And a 21 point, 12 assist, 10 rebound, triple double. Really not something that I expected was for you to go to the G League and start getting triple doubles. <laughs> Tell us how that happened. Uh, just, just playing. I mean, I don't worry about my numbers. I just go out there and play. And uh, in that game right there, coach got on me really bad in halftime. And I went out there in the second half and I played, played really well. And I started on the defensive end. So that's pretty much where I got my confidence to get the triple double. And, and you know, rebound is not something I do best. But that game, I was really doing it. You're on there with Justin Patton from Creighton and Emil Jefferson from Duke, two guys that had their time in college. So did you. How does it feel spending three years in college? What differs you from guys that spent one or two? Uh, just, just experience as far as age. Um, you know, Justin, he's, he's a year younger than me, and Emil is two years older than me. So just experience. You could tell with you know how we practice and how we prepare for games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How you know. You can tell how who's mature and who's not, and you know it's really awkward with having a male on the team. He went to Duke, I went to Maryland, so we always get into these arguments: who's better and, and about the Big Ten, ACC. But other than that, I mean, like I said, it's just about experience. Uh, you had Kyle Tarp here for a while. Uh, there is a great program. Where, how's the training different? In uh, Iowa? I mean, it's not different at all. I can honestly say I can thank Kyle for preparing me for that. Uh, mm -hmm. Even I, th I think here, honestly, with Kyle, was, it's a lot harder because it's more of a team and, you know, Kyle doesn't put up anything. You know, you make sure everything's on point, everyone's dialed in, and, you know, it's his weight room. So he doesn't want anybody coming in with bad or anything like that. He wants everyone to come in and work and get better because he knows it's going to help us in the long run. All right. I got to ask, people said, is that mellow? What happened to his hair? So yeah. I got to ask, what happened to his hair? <laughs> uh, I, just, I, I tried to change it up, but, you know, I found out that it wasn't me and I'm um, in the process of growing it back. So next time I'll come here, hopefully my hair is back to where it was at. Okay, I'll take that as a great. I answer. remember your post on Instagram after that, and and the comments. Yeah, the comments went crazy. I had to turn the comments off. It was getting kind of out of hand. How many followers do you have? Uh, a little bit over 62k. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I mean, I get a, I get a quite a few likes. I mean, a lot of my fans are from our Maryland base, so right. that's all that really matters. You said there's a lot of Maryland fans in Iowa. It's not a lot, but it's some. I mean, I'm surprised to see even two fans in Iowa that are from Maryland. But they come to the games, and, you know, whenever I see Maryland fans out there, I get really excited, and, I, you know, I have to go speak to them. Well, when we heard the Washington Go-Go's were starting up, we said, this is going to be cool. We can go, if you're not in the NBA yet, we can go get Melo. Yeah, for That'd sure. That'd be great. For sure. All right, well, thank you for being on Terp Talk. I know you got to run. Thank you. You've been a great Terp. We love watching thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Terp that. Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerfourgates.com. Um, you know, when you talk about uh, both these guys, they were a big reason um, responsible in elevating the Maryland basketball program, so it's just outstanding to have them back. They just had a moment to go see Coach Sturgeon before. Um, I know a lot of the guys are looking forward to seeing him, and our fans are looking forward to seeing him. But we'll start with opening it up with some questions, um, and we'll get to hear what's going on with uh, Jake and Don, you want to start us off? Yeah, oh. if you don't want to. No, no, it's only right. I asked him yesterday about being back here. Uh, what, what's it like to come back and you know, get here for a game? This is the first time back. Yeah. Is it weird to come back? No, it's, it's exciting. Um, you know, I, I've wanted to get back here to, to catch a game for a long time now. Um, I'm happy to find a big deal with it. How about you, Mal? How's it feel to be back? Oh, it feels good. It feels good to be back. Um, I mean, it's very different to sit on the other side of the, of the bench. I'm used to sitting of course, side with the team and putting that uniform on. So it's very different. You know, it's my first year without doing that. So it's just different for me, but I'm excited to be back. Wayne? What's the difference for both of you in the crowd atmosphere of a Big Ten arena like this, a home game versus an NBA or G League game? I mean, I mean for me, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm in Portland, so the. The fan base there is, is just, just like a college atmosphere. Um, but, but being in, in other arenas, you know, Xfinity Center compared to, to a lot of arenas in the NBA is, 
a little bit. Uh, for me, this is a lot different from being here. Obviously, playing in different college arenas because those games are normally we play are like sold out. A lot of people are there, but you know, in the G League, there's not that many people there. But they're also in. Well, I play in Iowa, so you know, that's Big Ten, so a lot of people come to those games. And surprisingly, in Iowa, a lot of Maryland fans are there. So. Question for Melo, do you keep in touch with a lot of the guys on this team? And have you talked to Ant or some of the guys just throughout the year and, and tried to advise them on the game? Uh, yeah, I, I keep in touch with mostly, mostly Jared. You know, he's, he came in with me, and you know, Anthony came in last year. But you know, for Anthony, he's a point, he's a point guard, and I play point guard. So just be just giving confidence and telling him just keep doing what he's doing, and don't worry about the outside noise, and just just know that you know. This year, you know, you're down a couple of injuries, but you know, you guys are still fighting and don't get frustrated with what's going on with losing and stuff like that. And with Jared, I'm just telling him that, you know, it's your last year here, so you got to go with the bang and same with him and Dion. And, you know, that's pretty much what follow what's going on this season. I mean, Melo played three NCAA tournament teams here. You, you played on some teams that didn't get there. Um, when you, have you watched the many games? Have you been able to see games? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I watch whenever I can. Um, I was telling Zach earlier, um, you know, I, I've been here before. Um, you know, I have, how this team is doing this year, I, it reminds me of my sophomore year a little bit um, and, and freshman year also. Um, but I just got to stick with it. You know, they're, they're a young team with a, with a bright future. Any questions more for Mello? Jake? Do I have any?